That's a solid fish. Wow, that's a big fish. Especially on the kayak. Woo wee! What's up everybody? Today's vlog is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to take you along on a little adventure. It's going to be a good one because it's the king of the Isle kayak fishing tournament. And I haven't been in a kayak in a while. My gear is a little rusty because my goal for this video guys is to show you what it's like on a Saturday in Pensacola for like a kayak fishing tournament. Like a big kayak fishing tournament. So in this video and in this vlog you're going to see one me almost sink offshore and I had to bail my uh, kayak out with something interesting. It's not quite as good as a sponge but it worked. And you're going to see some big fish, some ones that got caught, it was bad weather off the bar. So sit back and enjoy us battling that nasty water and wind out there and maybe get a chuckle at it because I'm still here, I'm still alive. <laughs> They didn't have the receipt at the pump. I don't got time to go in there and get no receipt at the clerk. We gotta get to the fishing spot. We made it. We made it. Ooh, the water is warm. All right, so we made the break. That one was sketchy. Some people were getting bruised up in it. This Navarre break is, it like tumbled right at the shoreline to get this like crazy little roll. And if your kayak's behind you and you're not in the water yet, it'll just roll it over in your hand. Look at that. Now that's majestic. So this is the difference between the three people in this world. Doers, watchers, and people that just go around lost. The doers get to see stuff like this. It's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do, this is my whole tournament plan right here. And at the end of this video, you'll know whether my plan was good or not, because I'm going to post it no matter what. And so I'm going to troll the beach with some fr frozen cigar minnows. And then I'm going to head out maybe a couple of miles off a mile. Right now we're going between like, you know, the beach, 20 foot, 50 foot, 80 feet of water. It's like the deepest part of the bar is probably one of the top 20 prettiest beaches in the world. I don't care who you are. But my plan is I'm just going to troll. Quarter ounce of weight on, maybe a little more. Probably needs to get down a little more because this, this current's ripping. But it's my sole plan, guys. It's letting it rip. Tell you what, I'm bound to determine though. A little water in my kayak ain't going to slow me down. Jack's over there. And hopefully it doesn't get too much worse. It's supposed to like get worse as the day goes on, I think. And I'm gonna go down to the Navarre Pier and hook it back and see how much water I got in the bottom of my kayak. Might have to go to shore and empty it. It's kind of sloppy getting in here. Got a lot of waves over the bow getting in. But, oh well. Hopefully we make it. I meant to bring a sponge and I totally forgot. We can do a dry handoff here. All right, everybody, don't do as I do. And don't oversee as Jack oversees. Because I think I just prolonged my fishing time for about another hour or two with a leaky kayak. Don't do this at home. Not a good idea. <laughs> I figured at worst, I just do a 90 degree angle to the beach. And at best, I catch a tuna. <laughs> or a sailfish with a leaky kayak. 
Yeah, dude, don't let a remora show up. Don't look everybody, but Jack's seasick. He's gonna make me seasick! It is pretty turny out here. It's like it's like a rolling up and down, up and down. Definitely could get seasick out here. But at least he's got a fish and I don't. I'll take seasick if I get a big king right now. Got something. I think. I might have lost him. The Spanish mackerel. Heck yeah. On the board. Woo! All right, just got loaded up. Got all, just drug it all the way back. Check out this mahi mahi. That might be 20. That's a solid fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Especially on the kayak. Woo wee! Probably about 36, maybe more than to the fork. Solid 15 pound fish at least. That's a nice one. Woo. So this is a perfect example of you can put this on there. Compact. That BMW right there is stuck as a joke. I don't know if you can see it. He's stuck as he's he's stuck. I don't even know how to say it, but he's he's sure enough stuck. Everybody doubts that white sand. It'll get you. Always remember when you're out here at the beach, don't get in that white sand. Even if you got a four wheel drive, most of the time you ain't coming out. That's why my next uh, Tacoma is gonna be four wheel drive. We got stuck number two. See, that's number two for the day. And within like, you know, 50 yards, I'm telling you that white sand will get you. Hopefully you don't get me trying to get out of this parking spot. That's always an interesting thing when you're cruising the beach, Pensacola, Navarre, Destin, Fort Walton Beach. Let's count all the stuck people on the side of the road. So that's two on the drive. I'm sure we'll see another one on the way there. No joke, I just passed number three stuck person on the beach. Jack Moran called me while I was passing it and I didn't get to film it. Nuts! That was three. Three, and it's not even Holly Beach season anymore. Taking my one Spanish mackerel up here to weigh it in. I'm not ashamed. I'm proud I'm on the board. All right, some of the first big kings that just came in. Jack's getting his camera ready too. They're pretty big. in 15 minutes. Got some pretty big kings. No tuna though. More flight. So man, where did you guys fly out of in your country? Championship in Cabotal, Panama. Going to Mr. Kevin Frost. Cash to your airfare and your uh, hotels, whatever you need to get there, man. So, congratulations! Come, come up here next to me, man. We got to get some photos with you. Look at this. 